Okay, this is going to be a quick video demonstrating my new uh, air rifle. It is the uh, Benjamin uh, Nitro Piston or the Nitro GX uh, piston powered uh, air rifle in 22 caliber. Um, my understanding is uh, that it's also known as a Crossman uh, air rifle. So it could be using the Benjamin name as you can see here. I don't know if that's coming out or not. Let me see. I don't have it on. It's really hard to see in this lighting. It says Benjamin and Crossman Titan GP. Um, so I'm going to be demonstrating this uh, firing at a target that is approximately uh -oh, the winds blowing the target right now so that's going to pose a little bit of a problem I have to take that down um, but a target that's approximately um, 100 feet away okay I'm just going to set this up take that down and fire away and what I'm using as a stand on this is one of those uh, flower arrangement uh, stands that you get from funerals yeah, I kind of rescued that from uh, my dad's funeral arrangements. So I have two of those. And they make pretty good stands. And since dad was a pretty good shot, and he liked to use guns and such, mostly 22 caliber and you know, shotgun, that was his uh, main thing. Uh, I guess I got a little piece of dad out there with me when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Okay. Alright, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to come out, but this is the uh, Titan uh, GP uh, air rifle. As I said, it's marketed as a Benjamin product, but it might actually be made by Crossman. It's kind of hard to find any um, real good information on it online um, aside from people talking about it and a couple advertisements uh, there really doesn't seem to be um, a whole lot out there of course I don't have the best internet connection right now so when I get back home to my high speed internet uh, I'll have a better chance of uh, doing more research or better research on that so this is your typical brake barrel air rifle and you simply break the barrel load the pellet and close the barrel and you're ready to fire and the safety is on now the safety is off I'm going to be firing from a rest position, a rested position. And we'll see how she flies. Not good, I jerked on that one, so let's try it again. A little bit of smoke from the barrel. Still going through the break-in period, so that's kind of to be expected. Uh. Nice. Yeah, it looks like I'm in the number nine ring. Uh-oh. 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 You see here. You know, got a little overzealous there. And there we go. Break that back. Try it again.
We're getting there. Okay, let's take a closer look. See what kind of damage we did. So I would say that's not too bad from about 100 feet away. You can see where they penetrated there. One, two, three in the nine, one in the red. Let's see. I'm not sure how that's coming out. It's pretty bright light. Okay, but that's not too bad, I would say. Um, one clean miss, but I jerked on that one. And if you look back there, you can see where the pellet from the, looks like the bullseye, <laughs> which you would expect, hit the support and scarred it up just a little bit, but nothing to be concerned about. As I said, this is one of those uh, funeral flower arrangement stands, and they work pretty good for... Uh, testing or firing or targeting uh, with your pellet rifle. I wouldn't advise using a 22 or anything like that. You'll probably eventually cut it in half or something. And these are dirty bird targets. Yes, these are dirty bird targets. You can't see that, can you? Uh, that's 12 by 18 inch splattering targets. Alright, well that's all. This is supposed to be a short video. I'll just have to do some serious editing on this one to uh, <laughs> make it short. But in, in any case, I think you'll get the gist of what the uh, Titan GP uh, air rifle is capable of. Alright, thanks. Bye-bye.